Welcome to this Boat Buyer Secret Weapon video. We're going to talk about inspecting a trailer. This is a trailer for a deck boat, a bow rider, uh, a center console, any V-Haul boat. It's a dual axle with brakes, a swing away tongue. So we're going to walk through it. It's a fairly new trailer. The first thing that we're going to talk, start is here up front. We're going to check that coupler and make sure that everything is working properly there, that you've got your locking pin. This has the surge brakes right here which you'll see when the when the uh, vehicle stops, the pressure is gonna mount, that's gonna slide back, and that's gonna engage the brakes right there. Uh, if you're ever trying to back the trailer down, if you don't have your lights plugged in, this little key slides in right there, and it stops the brakes from engaging. Also, that fifth pin on your, uh, this is a, a round one actually, but the fifth pin, if you have a straight one, um, or one of those pins, will actually, when the reverse lights go on, it'll disengage this braking uh, mechanism here. As you go through, you're just looking for corrosion, for rust, checking your winch stand. You wanna check your strap, pull it out a little bit and make sure that that strap is, make sure that strap is in good condition all the way through especially right here on that seam, so that that doesn't have to be replaced. And go ahead and, and crank it and make sure everything is in proper order. As you come up to the front, you want to inspect the rollers. This one has a, the uh, bow stop right there. On the bow stop, the bow rider should come up right here, and that, um, that hook should be right there where you can hook it and uh, hold it tight down on that uh, on the bow stop as you go through you want to check the lines that you can the brake line as well as the um, the wiring for the for the lights you're checking the bunks the carpet make sure that you've got good carpet make sure everything is attached sometimes you can't see the rod on those and so you just kind of want to tap it and uh, and feel that as you look at the axles you want to inspect the axle, looking for rust and corrosion. You can see why it's easier to do this with the boat off the trailer. This is a leaf spring um, trailer. If you want to inspect that, you're looking for rust, corrosion, and any damage. I'll show you one that um, is damaged. Everything looks good there, and you can see uh, what you can on the hubs. As you come out, you want to check the tires, check for the tread on the tires. You can also check the date um, on the tires as well. Uh, they'll tell you what the date of the tire when it was manufactured. Um, you're looking for any cracks, dry rot uh, on there. You're also going to check the um, the hubs. That little cap will come off, and you can check for the uh, the grease and the bearings. Make sure those are good. Make sure you check all four tires, all four hubs, and then as you head to the back. Again, check these bunks. Make sure everything feels solid, nice and solid. And then you're checking, this one has the built-in um, tie-downs, which is great. You're checking your light. Look at this trail, looks great. You've got a, a broken light, which is a, a pretty easy fix and definitely something that you wanna get fixed if you're, if you're gonna be buying the trailer. So that is how you do the trailer inspection. Um, you also, you want to check the brake lines in the back here and make sure that all the brake line look good right there. Checking your fender well and just doing a, a full walk around. And then if you head back up, you can actually check the brake fluid, which is right here. This little thing will come off. That will open up and you can check that brake fluid and refill it. Uh, so you can test for leaks and uh, see if it uh, is low. So there you go. That is the trailer inspection. And then you also have, let's see if we can find it. You have your tag if it's, if it's visible. It'll tell you what the right tires are, what the right pressure, as well as the manufacturing information. You've got the gross weight, the weight for each axle, the tires needed, uh, the PSI for the tires, your maximum load. This is a 5,000 pound trailer. You see that right there. And then you have your VIN number 
uh, there as well. So that's got all the details on it that you need. Uh, sometimes those will, will wear out and um, you may need to go to the title for that information, but you'll also find stamped on the trailer in most situations that um, that vehicle identification number should be stamped on the trailer somewhere as well. That will never go away. You just have to hunt and find it. Um, you just have to hunt and find it if, you, if you're unable to. You never know where it's going to be, either up on the tongue or sometimes back on the, uh, on the corner there. This, as always, brought to you by Boat Buyer Secret Weapon Toolkit. You can grab your free copy uh, at BoatBuyerSecretWeapon.com slash toolkit. You can pick that up and as well as get access to the Magic Money Saving Method at BoatBuyerSecretWeapon.com slash save to give you the best way to negotiate to find the best price on your boat, trailer, and motor combination. Thanks a lot. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment if you've got it. And I will be happy to uh, answer them or even make another video that uh, helps answer your question. Take care.